What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Something a little bit different today. Um, got my own car on the ramp. Makes a change, I suppose. Um, pulled the gearbox out to do a clutch on it. Um, and I thought while I was there, I'd drop the down pipes and check the turbos. Um, now my car, it's an Audi A4, but it's got the 2.7 bi-turbo engine in it. Still running the good old trusty five-speed transmission. Um, I will eventually go six-speed, but not right now. As they say, if it ain't broke, don't change it. So I'm not doing that. But anyway, back to the car. Um, pulled my downpipes off, checked my turbos, and both of them have got significant, significant in and out play, which is not really what I wanted to find at this sort of time being the fact there's not a lot of work about. <clears throat> um, I'm still a bit undecided on about which way to go with the turbos. They're only KO3s. I'd like to go bigger, but we'll have to see. <laughs> so here's the back of the engine. Excuse, excuse the glare coming from that window there. So, but I mean, they're not using any oil, which is a good sign. But I mean, my flywheel's pretty much knackered as well. It's got an awful lot of play in it. So I'll probably end up trying to find a solid flywheel. So. But, yeah. Not good at this time. So a bit of an overview on the car. I've owned it for about just over a year now. Um, I've not really done much to it. I've added some 18Z calipers to the front, six pots, braided front lines. Um, the car pretty much how it is, is how I got it. It had a couple of aftermarket bits on it, bigger side mounts, better intercooler piping, cat back exhaust, no, sorry, turbo back exhaust. Um, I've had to change the rocker cover gaskets and the tensioner gaskets because they were leaking oil like no tomorrow. I like it because it doesn't look like an S4, it just looks like your everyday Audi. Apart from the massive brakes kind of do give something away, I suppose. But I was speaking to someone last week and he said it's extremely clean underneath. The body's on about 150k. The engine's only on 90 odd thousand miles. It's on some cheapy coilovers, which will be getting changed because the ride is absolutely horrendous. But I mean, other than that, the car's not too bad. It's got a stage one map on it. The other thing with the turbos is it's only hitting <clears throat> 0.7 bar when I should be hitting around about 1.5. But yeah, other than that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the little bell notification button and stay tuned because I will have a few more videos coming up of this, hopefully. That's if I can get some turbos, that is. Um, I do also, this week, have a couple of other videos coming out. One on a Civic, which I'm pretty sure you'll all enjoy. One of my friends wants me to do a few bits and bobs to it. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. But anyway, have a good day.